You know what time it is? It's marketing time. Happy 2021. If you guys want to have a successful year, what you're going to need to do is have your marketing on point. Many of you guys are probably very, very talented designers. In fact, I've seen some of your work and you guys are truly talented. But just because you're a great designer doesn't make you a great business owner and doesn't make you a great marketer. Maybe you are a marketer. And if this is the video that you want to watch, I guarantee you'll gain something new. But if you're not a marketer, this can absolutely change your life. A lot of people go through marketing and treat marketing and do marketing the wrong way. And so marketing has gotten a bad rap. Just like web design and motion design and graphic designers have gotten a bad rap, so has marketing. So I wanna clear those things up in this video and really explain the nuts and bolts of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey everybody, this is Adrian Boysell and welcome back to another video. So grateful to have you here. Today's video is very important because it has to do with your success in 2021. And your success depends on you marketing, getting in front of more people, raising more awareness, more interest, more desire, and ultimately more action. If you notice what I did there, that was the AIDA model. I'm not gonna get into the weeds on the different marketing strategies, but what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is the three biggest areas that people in general, all business owners, not just people, but business owners in general, fail at marketing. And so this is a very important video for you. If you don't have these foundational principles under your belt, you're going to struggle. And so today, we're gonna to jump into that. But first, if you could please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it would mean a lot to me. I ask that in every video, and so I'm not gonna change that pattern now. I need more likes, I need more subscribers because I'm trying to reach a million people and I can't do that without your help. So, number one is clarity. A lot of people really lack in clarity. If you're going into 2021 without a written plan, a marketing plan, a branding blueprint, a business plan, you're going to fail. I don't wanna say that to you, but it's the fact, it's the hard truth. You have to go into 2021 with clarity of what you do. And too many people, and I can tell you this from firsthand experience from myself to people that I'm dealing with recently, is I have a Facebook group called the Instagraphics Pro Network. And I went live in there and I asked people what their goals were. And a couple people said efficiency. And somebody else said, I wanna scale my business. Those are not specific goals. So if you wanna have success, you need to have specific goals. What does scaling your business actually look like? What does becoming more efficient actually look like? If you don't have that down on paper and you don't have specific goals like the revenue that you're gonna generate, how many people you're gonna hire, what systems you're gonna put into place, what pieces of your business are missing now, you're going to struggle. And the same thing ties all back to your marketing. You need to be clear on who your audience is, what the offers, what their needs are, what the problems are, what are the challenges that they're facing in their business that you can come in and solve. And creating an offer that has demand, that is very good and attractive and what we call irresistible is really important. So that's the first step in marketing where people fail is they cast their net too wide, they try to do too many things, they try to pop too many offers. And what a lot of people do, myself included years ago, was putting out deals and promotions and specials and prices and you get into the pricing game. Trust me, you don't wanna be in the pricing game. It's a race right to the bottom and it's not fun. I've transitioned out of that role and so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the same thing. And that's part of why this channel exists is just to share this knowledge, share this information so you don't have to go through the same struggles. So you need to get very specific about your offer and what you're pitching and who you're pitching it to. What are their problems? What are their challenges? What are the needs that they have? And how are you going to solve them? This is really, really important. And then you wanna break it down into what is the prospect looking for? What is your current customer? Once they become actual lead, how are you gonna convert them over? And then how are you gonna actually stimulate referrals and get more business and things like that and increase the lifetime value of those people long-term? So that clarity is really, really important. And this is a big area that people fail. So I really want you to hone in. I want you to get focused on how are you gonna be clear about the direction that you're going with your business. For me, I'm focused dead on Instagraphics. This is my passion, this is my purpose, this is my life journey, and this is the road that I'm on now. I know where I'm going and what I'm gonna do, and so I know that I have a high chance of success because I've written it down, I put it on paper, and I got a plan to go out and attack, okay? Now, number two, and this is a big one for all business owners and entrepreneurs, I haven't seen very many people other than my friend Cody Cottle that have been good about this, 
and this is consistency. So number two is consistency. If you are not consistent in your activities on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly basis, you are not going to see the fruit of all the work that you put in. Let me tell you a little quick story. I started this YouTube channel about 14 months ago, 15 months ago, and it literally took me eight months of making three videos a week, every single week for almost nine months. It was eight months, but it was almost nine months of making videos consistently, month in and month out, and I saw nothing from it. Not only did I see nothing from it financially, and I was putting a ton of money into it, but on top of that, I wasn't seeing any results in terms of subscribers and growth of the channel. It was very slow. And then all of a sudden, because of my consistency, and because of making a few different changes to my channel, it shot through the roof. And now, as of today, I'm speaking on this today, I've had 844 subscribers in 28 days. The channel has grown more in 28 days than it did in eight months. That is incredible. And that can't happen without consistency. So whether it takes you six months, eight months, 10 months, 12 months, or 24 months, that is the secret to success. It's 1% better every single day. Now look where this channel is at. We'll be at 5,000 subscribers probably by the end of the first quarter or maybe even further than that. I don't even know because of the momentum that we're getting here because of people like you. This is just extraordinary. So it takes a long time. And at the six month mark, I was ready to give up. I was like, dude, this is not worth it. I'm putting too much money into this. Why am I doing this? Where is this really leading me to? Am I making the right decision? I doubted myself. And so many of you guys do that very early on. You get 30 days in and you start questioning yourself. Oh, should I keep doing this? How am I gonna make money from this? Don't worry about that. Focus on being consistent, building good habits and daily routines, weekly routines, monthly routines, and make sure that you stay consistent. Consistency is key. If you stay consistent, it's gonna take you some time, but I promise you it will pay off. You gotta plant those seeds, you gotta water them daily. It's just like farming. You gotta actually be consistent on, that on a daily basis. Number three is connection. Connection is so important. Just like the connection that you and I have here on this video, it's important that you deliver value to the world, that you give your heart, your soul, your passion, your joy, your talents, your time, all those things to the world and what you will get back in return will be far greater. It's going to take consistency, but if you give without expecting anything in return, it always pays off. And if it doesn't, who cares? Because you added value into the world and hopefully that person will pay it forward to somebody else. So it's important that you understand that marketing is the key to marketing is that connection. Without it, they will never listen to you. They will never understand you. They will never create that bond with you. The connection inside of your marketing is super important. So find out what their needs are, find out what their pain points are, find out what their interests, their dreams, their passions, their desires are, and help them with that. And don't expect anything in return. The chances are you will get something in return, big picture, whether it's just feeling great on the inside or it's some sort of monetary compensation, or maybe it's just a new friend, but creating connection within your marketing is something that people are lacking. Just putting out prices on there, cheap deals and irresistible offers is not connection. Connection is actually being a servant and actually asking what your audience needs, being that kind of person that wants to pour into people and just add value without expecting those things in return. So connection is a big area where there's a disconnect for people. They just think that they're gonna talk about their features and their benefits. People don't care about that. They're looking for the result. And the result is to help them with their pains. Everybody has a pain point, whether it's a pain tolerance of one or a pain level of 10, it doesn't matter whether they're at in that pain level that you can go in there and help them remove that pain. You should be compensated for it, but first you gotta give. That's the key. And so to create connection, you gotta be a giver. So that's the advice I wanna give to you guys today is everybody has in their mind what's in it for me. I think it's like W-I-F-F-M. It's like a radio station, right? What's in it for me? You should probably write that down. Every person that you're dealing with, that you come into communication with, that sees your Facebook posts, that sees your social media stuff, that gets your emails, they're always asking themselves, what's in it for me and in order for you to create that connection with them you have to go and serve them that is the key so that's what i got for you guys today if you love this video please drop a like on it hit that subscribe button we got a lot of more amazing content coming for you in 2021 as i mentioned in my previous video we got the instagraphics channel with tutorials that's going to be there live launch our facebook community so many great things happening so i'm just excited that you're here i thank you for taking the time to be with me today and watch this video and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next one I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.